Hey you guys, what is up? Another video. So today is again just a random video. Um, I'm just going to be doing my makeup with you guys. I just got a few new products in. Um, with being quarantined, there was a makeup store online and it was really affordable makeup. Um, so I just got a few different things. Um, thought that we could try it out together. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me comments below of looks that you would like to see next. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. So I got a foundation. Um, I'm really happy with the foundation that I have, but this was like literally $3. I think it's going to be too dark. Um, and if it is, then we'll just put something else on. But this is in the shade three. It's by the brand Nail and I've never heard of it, but it was really cheap. So, um, okay looks a little looks a little dark i think if i was um spray tanned it would be fine but i think if i had my self tanner on it would be fine but it definitely is um a warmer undertone and just from doing a couple of pumps um i can tell it's pretty light coverage like you can see you can still see um some imperfections i'm gonna go in with just a little bit more and again the powder that i'm gonna use um the powder I'm going to use on top is pretty light, so I'm hoping that that will just kind of blend everything because as you can tell, it's definitely not my shade. They didn't have many, and again, I was like ordering this through like WhatsApp. If you don't know what WhatsApp is, it's just like a text message app. So I was like messaging the makeup store. And again, this is like very cheap. Okay. Well, I don't really know what to think. Obviously different. I mean, it matches my arms like more than it does my neck. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to go in. I'm going to go in with some powder because I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about this. The smell is a little weird. Um, I mean, it's it looks like my skin. Like I can still see my blemishes underneath. So the fact that it isn't cakey, I guess is a good thing. And I don't know if you can buy this anywhere. Like if you're in the States, I don't know if you could buy this. E. Si usted vive en Costa Rica, tal vez compre eso. Yo compré en, bueno, en una tienda de, de maquillaje, pero sí, la marca es Nail and Y bueno, no es tan mal. Obviamente me gustó un poco mejor con este polo, pero sí. Um, yeah, I definitely like it better with some um, powder on top. Good coverage. Not bad. Um, before I do my bronzer and the rest of my face, I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows and I'm just using my NYX, um, eye pencil. Okay, so now I have both eyebrows done. I'm going to set it like always using my NYX um, eyebrow gel. I really do like setting eyebrows with something. I feel like it just kind of keeps the hairs in place. And yeah, I mean, I guess it's a step you don't have to do, but I definitely recommend it. Um, and if you don't even like using products, 
on your eyebrows, maybe just get the eyebrow gel um, if, if you don't want to fill them in at all. Okay, so um, I'm going to do my bronzer real quick and then we'll start my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline City Bronzer and it's unfortunately the darker one, which isn't, you know, my top choice for my skin tone right now, but it's the only bronzer I have. So I'm going to make it work just using a really big fluffy brush and really just making sure I'm blending that out. Excuse my hair, by the way, it's like halfway dry, halfway half wet. I had done um, a hair mask last night. And I just left it in overnight and then rinsed it out today and put my hair products in. And if you have curly hair, you know it takes about, I would honestly say like half a day to dry. At least mine does with the products I, I put in it. If I'm not going anywhere, I definitely don't like to diffuse my hair because it's just less heat. So I'll just kind of let it air dry and that's what I'm doing. So sorry about that. Let's just ignore it. Okay, so here's another little fun purchase. I got the Beauty Creations Frida palette. Um, and yeah, I haven't even like tried the shades, so I don't even know how they're going to be. This is what it looks like. Yeah, just super cute. Um, so yeah, the Beauty Creations is the brand. I think today I'm just gonna stick for more of a natural look, um, but I definitely am excited to play around with some of the colors. So today we'll just do something simple. I'm taking that cream shade um, right here. So you can see I just kind of have like a shell tone, looks a little crazy, but it's good because it'll just kind of um, lighten what's needed underneath. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take that shade next to it, which is again, just a matte um, brown. I mean, so far, really good color payoff. Um, granted, I've only tried two shades, but okay. So you can see I just have some in the outer. I'm then going to go in with a little mix of these two. So kind of like peachy browns again, same brush and kind of the same well, yeah, the same kind of crease. So you can see I kind of have just that and you could totally leave this look as is with you know mascara, eyeliner, whatever you want. Um, I am gonna go in with um, some other colors. I'm gonna take this brush. I don't know where my smaller one is, so I'm just using this for now. And I'm gonna go in with the two same shades I just um, put in my crease. So again, just kind of mixing that. And just kind of putting from like the middle if you look straight, the middle of um, your pupil um, to the outer corner. Okay, so now this is pretty much just like an all um, matte look. I, I do want to go in with a little bit of shimmer. And so I'm going to take the shade. I really love this one right here. So we're going to see what that looks like. Um, again, I always take shimmers on my fingers because they just feel like it's the best pigment um, especially when you're putting it on the lid so using my finger and you guys can see the color payoff really good and they're not chalky so so far I'm really really loving this palette Okay, 
so you can see the difference. One has the shimmer and one is matte. So I'm gonna go in and do the other eye. So that shimmer, when I applied it with my finger, did seem to have a little bit of fallout. So um, if that's the case or you struggle with that, then I suggest doing your foundation before you do your eyeshadow. And that'll just ensure that you can clean up underneath before you go to put your foundation on. Um, and if you've already put your foundation on like me, then I just take a brush. Um, sometimes I'll just use like a plain fluffy brush and sometimes I'll, I will take a little powder and just brush right under the eyes and it should come off. But again, if you're playing with it and you realize that it's not coming off, then maybe the next time um, try and do your eyes before you do the face makeup. And first impression, definitely really, really loved the Frida by um, Beauty Creations. I love Frida Kaolo as an artist. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed this palette. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeliner. Today I am using this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Eyeliner. Do the same line um, as the mascara that I love, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. So um, I'm just using this. This isn't my ideal um, eyeliner, but you might find it easier if you can't use a pen and you just shake it, you get the product here on the little tip. And I actually think for today, I normally never do this, I'm, you know, going a little out of my box, but I think I'm just gonna do a normal line because I know um, not everybody likes wing liner, not everybody can do it, not everybody enjoys it for their eye shape. So this is obviously just the straight across normal liner and it might be easier and you can start practicing it if you don't feel comfortable with eyeliner in general, start with just the normal line and then move your way up to winged eyeliner if you want. Okay, so we have a line that I is done. I'm gonna move on to the other side. And again, every so often, you know, just shaking to get a little bit more product. Um, I always like to start on the outer corner of my eye. So I'll normally start in the middle, do the outer and then inner corner to the middle point and meet it up. I just think it's a little bit easier and I always like to start for my eye shape a little bit thinner and then moving the line thicker. Okay, so I have my eyeliner done and then I'm going to do another first impressions. I have never even heard of this line. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I already opened it. Doesn't really seem the best. This is made in Mexico. No say. The marca is Super Lash. Y si dice mascara para pestañas. Entonces, sí. It's just a mascara by the brand Super Lash. Um, it says avocado. I, I'm not really sure. Um, the brush is freaking huge, which I normally don't like. Um, so, but I'm running low on mascara, so I figured I would just try, and it was very cheap. Okay, so. First coat, not bad. They've like. They've like put, I don't know, it kind of has a weird smell. I can't really, it's like not apple though. <laughs> I don't know if they tried to make it apple. Kind of just smells a little perfumey. I mean, not to the point where it's irritating my eyes, but I feel like it kind of clumped my lower lashes together, if anything. some eyeliner this is from morphe it's in foolish
like that. And then I'm taking this Melt um, lipstick and it is in Old Rose. And finishing with some highlight and I'm using the Fenty Beauty. And there you have it, just a get ready with me first impressions makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on my Instagrams at Beauty by Kaylee and Kaylee Scholes. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.